Hi there guys, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a queue to sprint key. Look at that, I'm sprinting very fast. Let's go to Studio and learn how to do that. Here we are inside Roblox Studio and you're going to go to your starter player, starter player scripts, and you're going to add a local script, name it queue to sprint. In your local script, just insert the following lines. On the top here, we're just declaring all the different services, the player service, the context action service, and the started GUI. In the next section here, we're getting the player, the current player, the characters of the player, and the humanoid of the character. Our action name is Sprint. We're going to use this inside our bind action here. You can give it any name you want. In the next section here, we're creating a new animation for when our character is sprinting. For more information on Roblox animation, you can refer to our prior tutorials on Roblox animations. So basically, when the player presses the Q key, we're going to connect to this function, which is this function right here. Action here is just the name of our action, which is Sprint. Again, you can name it any name you want. And True here means to put a button on, a, on the mobile device's screen. Inside this function, we're checking to see if it's user input state begin. So when the player presses the button and hold it down, it's going to fire this user input state begin. So we're going to change the walk speed of the character to 40. As long as the player keeps the button down, the walk speed is going to stay at 40. And also we're playing this sprinting animation. So we're changing the animation of the character to, to show the sprinting animation. Now when the player releases the button, it's going to fire the user input state n. So this code here is not going to be executed. Instead, it's going to go into the else part here. And it's going to set the walk speed of the character back to normal, which is 16. And it's going to stop the animation, the um, sprinting animation that we're playing up here, that we play over here. So when the button is released, the walk speed is back to normal and the animation is going to go back to the normal running animation. Let us play test and take a look. So now I'm just running normally, but now if I press and hold the Q key down, I'm sprinting. I let go, I'm back to running. Here we go. I'm running, press and hold the Q key down, I'm sprinting, and now I'm back to running. Guys, that is how you make a queue to sprint key in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. We will see you in the next tutorial. Take care, everyone.